Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back to Books, Beauty, and Stuff. I don't think I did a full video on the Viva Glam Mac Viva Glam line. Um, I mentioned it a few times when I did my Mac hauls or did like reviews or my monthly favorites and things like that. But I haven't really dedicated a whole video for the Viva Glam line. And I think I want to do that today. So if all my mains sit on down, get you a cup of tea, get you some beer, get you whatever you drink. Get you something to eat, get you some a new port or whatever the smokes, but we're about to get it in. So, with that being said, as you guys know, let's talk, let's do a little talk because it's like a move, like a talk, explanation, video, and things like that. So, let's get into it. Basically, I first of all, I'm everybody knows I'm a makeup artist. Um, everybody knows one of my favorite high-end brands is Mac, due to the fact Mac does a lot of colors with the deeper shades, with foundations, have different finishes with different skin textures and types as well too. Um, not to mention they have beautiful, beautiful colors that are so primitive from eyeshadows, blushes, um, to nice highlights. You could create different looks for bridal, the office, the stage, drag shows, things like that. All photos, you know what I mean, okay? And I like the fact they also have programs for people in the industry. Um, such as makeup artists, um, fashion editorials, stage hounds, um, nail technicians, things like that. But enough about that, okay? Because I am going too deep, too deep, too deep, too deep, too deep, too deep. Okay. So, with that being said, um, one of their programs, which is the heart of, at the heart of the company, is the Viva Glam program. Viva Glam has started in 94, and that basically is a program that basically um, helps men, women, and children who are affected and living with HIV and AIDS. Um, if you guys know me, everybody who knows me knows my story, why I advocate so much for HIV and AIDS, um, why I'm so passionate about safe sex, um, HIV education, proper HIV terms, um, proper HIV testing and you know things like that. I'm so passionate about it, and I'm fin I'm still uh, hoping that they can put more HIV education in school, especially in elementary schools too, especially for um, age appropriate thing. But I'm going off subject. I'm sorry, but anyway. Um, with that being said, Mac has done probably like 400 million. I'm not too sure. Don't quote me, but they did a lot over the last 20 years and raised for the cause. Um, you had spokespersons like Rihanna, Miley Cyrus, Laura Kim, Mary J. Blige, um, Elton John, Shirley Manson, um, KD Lang, um, Linda Evangelista, Eve, um, Fergie, you know, Cindy Lauper, a lot of them. So, Boy George, a lot of them. So, with that being said, I um, want to talk about Viva Glam and... Actually, the first Viva Glam girl was my baby and will always be one of my favorites, RuPaul. And we have the current Viva Glam now, which is my girl Taraji B. Henson. Yes, honey. D.C., born and bred, Southeast all day. Uh, yes, I'm here for it. So I was, so I definitely had to get that color. That color I'll actually be showing you as well, too. But as of now, and I'm going to let you guys know, and I'll probably remind you again in the video, that Viva Glam Taraji's lip glass is... Sold out online. You can still get it at your counter. But call first because some of the lipstick may be there. Got sold out as well. Some of the lip glaze may be sold out as well too. So make sure you call your local counters. <sighs> call your local counters or your stores and find out before you go anywhere. Call first. Call first. Call first. Ask questions first, okay? Anyway, um, so let's get down to it. Let's talk about the first Viva Glam, Viva Glam 1, which I actually used on one of my girlfriends Saturday when I did her makeup. Um, hold on for a minute. Let's text real quick. Oh. Um, I actually used this on my girlfriend Saturday. If you guys follow me on Instagram or Facebook, I'm going to put my Facebook and Instagram information below. Um, I used this on her lips along with Ruby Woo and a cherry lip liner. This is Viva Glam 1. It's like a nice reddish burgundy not even a burgundy, I'm sorry, reddish brown with a blue undertone. 
This is the color right here. You guys may not be able to see it off a lot because of the um, lighting in my room, but I will take pictures of it. This is Viva Glam 1. Viva Glam 1 is, Lord, let me just tell you, this is one of my favorite reds from MAC, straight up. One of my favorite reds from MAC. And I got gas, show, but don't judge me. <laughs> um, one of my, This is my favorite red from MAC, okay? It goes to a good cause. And by the way, I forgot to tell you, 100% of the proceeds from the Viva Glam lipsticks goes towards the MAC AIDS fund. 100, not 25, not 50, not 27, 100. This is Viva Glam 1. This is a matte finish, and I feel this is a good red for any skin tone, you know. Plus, you're doing it for a good cause, too. Um, Originally, they had the Viva Glam 1 lip glass, which came out in 2013 as a limited edition. Um, not going to – they don't have – I'll show you all guys the swatch. But you also could get a dupe for it from with like Ruby Woo lip glass as well, too. So this is Viva Glam 1 lip glass. And this red is so freaking gorgeous. Check out the color. I'm going to take pictures and swatches of it in a video as well. So you guys can check that out as well. This is definitely my favorite red to go to. Okay, so you're supporting a good cause and you're looking sexy in it as hell at the same time. Okay, um, let's go with Viva Glam 2. Let me find it first. Sticks falling and whatnot. Good grief. Sorry, y'all. But hey, all right. This is Viva Glam 2. The Mac Calls is like a new pinky color. It's like a satin finish. This is actually pretty nice. Um, my uh best friend's sister loved this color. This is this actually is a nice neutral color too. Good for the workplace, or you could jazz it up a little bit. Why is my camera doing this, y'all? I swear my camera always does this, but hopefully we can do this video. Okay, then we go with Viva Glam 3. I know some people call it Viva La Glam. It's Viva Glam, y'all. Viva Glam. This is Viva Glam 3. It's like a plum brownish color, and it's a matte finish. This is the Viva Glam 3 right here. Very gorgeous color. Um, I used this on one of my clients probably a couple of months ago. And honestly, if you want to darken it a little bit, I would use um, Current Pencil... Night Moth, or even Cyber World as well, too. So, yeah. Then we got Viva Glam 4. Now, Viva Glam 4, you guys, is no longer in existence unless you get it from your Mac store or Mac counter. But I would just say rack up on this now. I actually like Viva Glam 4. It's actually very pretty. That's Viva Glam 4 under Viva Glam 2. That's actually very pretty, and I don't understand why they're getting rid of it. Um, it's sort of like a rosy, um, frosty color. It's actually pretty. Maybe it didn't sell well. Mm. Now, my other one. God damn it. Excuse me. It's Viva Glam 5. Now, I had the lipstick, actually, for me, too. I got to find my lipstick, but... This color right here is such a beautiful new color. Anybody could wear it. They had the biggest pain, which was in 20, 2004. They had a lot of people doing it, you know, from Missy Elliott, um, Linda Evangelista, Boy George, Pamela Anderson, um, Christina Aguilera. A lot of people were doing that campaign. And they used to have the Viva Glam 5 lip gloss as well, too. So they discontinued that along with the Viva Glam 1 lip gloss. They discontinued a lot. Um, if you look at my um my last video with the Mac lip glasses, um, I'll probably go in a little more um depth in the stuff they discontinued at Mac just as recently as well too. Okay, so we're going to go with Viva Glam six. This is Viva Glam six. This is the last. I like this one actually. It's actually very pretty. Right here. It's more of a luster finish. More like a brownish rose color. Something like that. Viva Glam 6 is actually one of the last um, of the permanent um, Viva Glam that Mac put out. Um, everything else was just like um, a celebrity thing, such as starting with um, Fergie, who did Viva Glam 6 Special Edition. Um, and then after that, it was no more of the number system. They just had it by celebrity names like Viva Glam Cindy, Viva Glam Lady Gaga, Viva Glam Nikki, things like that as well, too. Um, yes, Ricky Martin was part of the Viva Glam program, but he was promoting a clear lip glaze 
which sometimes Mac does a lot of um thing does things, which basically is repromotes of things too, which is cool in a way because you may not have noticed it unless it's in a special collection, and then you look at it like hmm, you can look at it with um different eyes, per se. Mm, excuse me, y'all. Just join me on um, Mike's Hard Lemonade. Anyway, um, I didn't put any makeup on today. I am just, this is my chill day. I didn't even supposed to do a video today, but I had to do it. Oh, but I will show you the Viva Glam Taraji. Um, and I will put that um, video below because I'm not going to go too much into it. That's more of a depth, in depth video for that one. Um, I'll put a little swatch here just in case you can't see it. Um, it's on the corner. Let's see. Let's see. Behind the red a little bit, so. Well, damn. Yeah, that's the Viva Glam Taraji. Matte colors, more of a pearl um base, but it's a matte finish, very gorgeous. Um, Make sure you call the stores. I'm going to repeat it again. Call the stores before you go in there looking for the lipstick to see if it's there or not. If not, try to get online. Anyway, I will talk to you guys later, and thank you for watching, and I guys hope you have the rest of us. Enjoy the rest of the day. Bye now.